Hello, hello. Happy Monday. It's Cecile Team 6. Hope that you're doing well. All right, let me get all sorted here. Boy, it's rainy. All right, last week we finished up the Yanagi route uh, for Caller X Malice. So we are going to continue uh, the same game with a new route. We're going to do the Okazaki Rei. Uh, sorry. Not Ray, Okazaki K. <laughs> uh, love interest around. So, and if I was good, I would have already pre skipped through the parts that you've already seen and just gotten to the next part, but I didn't. So, we're just going to fast forward through a bunch of things together. <laughs> but first, opening intro. That's a good one. <laughs> it's a good intro. Alrighty. Kara Maris Unlimited. Alright. Alright, we're gonna do a new memory. Let's see. We how far we can click through. Uh, we'll just start with the prologue and then we're just gonna fast forward through the parts. Sorry, I wish there was a faster way to do this. I did not think about this ahead of time. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so we're just gonna... What am I... I keep pressing that button, sorry. See, is there is there a different way? Give me a second. There surely surely No, that's not what I want. There we go. Skip. Alright. While we're at it, I can look something up that I wanted to. Cause I always talk about the voice actor for Okazaki is a very popular one. His name is Yu uh, Yukikaji. 
many of us know as Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan, but there's... I wanted to pull up his, like, full bio. Let's see. Because he's in a lot. He is a super duper popular fella. In a lot of video games. In a lot of anime. Which is very prolific. Let's see. Who was he in Demon Slayer? Sabito? So one of the like fox, ma uh, fox, fox mask guys. Up in the very beginning. Hmm. He's in Tears of Themis, another one that we've played on stream before. Um, Shoto in My Hero Academia, another super popular one. Anyways, <laughs> so many, so many. All right, so we're just skipping through the prologue. All we do is we meet some, like, it tees it up from like, months ahead of or like a month or so into uh maybe not a whole month like just uh maybe a month i don't know weeks to a month into the first game um but meanwhile once you start the story last time it took place afterwards so i don't i don't know what they're kind of teeing up with that but mm -hmm. okay here we go, our first um, split. So last time we did, we can't let this go. Um, that is also what we would pick for Okazaki. So we'll... All right, okay. Oh, I guess this is new stuff, so uh, it's not that new. We've read this before. We'll just skip to the parts that we haven't seen yet. Okay, here we go. So previously, these are the options we've done. We need to question people in the area. When it came to examining crime scenes, Yanagi and Enomoto were far more experienced than I was. And computers were Sasazuku's uh, specialty. I could try to learn on the fly, but it might not yield very good results. Naturally, the way that I can help best is... I'd like you guys to search the scene while I question people in the area. Oh goodness. Sorry, I'm fat fingering <laughs> my controller. Keep pressing that button. はあ。聞こみって近所の人に話とか聞いてみるわけ。イエス。ええ。アナログすぎない。そんなんで足取りとかつかめちゃうもん。しかも相手は引きこもりでもない。普通に社会人してるやつだもんな。バカ猫にしちゃ悪くね。身の程わきまえた妥当な判断だ。This <laughs> guy. I'm not really looking forward to Sasuzuka's rap. I don't even know if I'll do it. Um, I would be curious though if like so other games you are well rewarded for doing all the routes so i don't know if there's a secret route in this one or not um, but i guess it's worth investigating i wouldn't say i'm the best at it but i do have to speak to the public often i think that's how i'll be most useful everyone seemed to be in agreement and i laid my hand on my chest in relief I knew that I was sorely lacking as a police officer, but I had to help however I could. よし、方針は決まったな。まず
あとで時間見て実物鑑定してもらうか頼んだぞで俺と榎本で松島の部屋を調査星野は周辺住民の聞き込みだ星野一人で行動させるんですかその一応仮にも若い女子だしもう夜だし一人っつうのは I do think Enomoto is very sweet. I wouldn't mind doing Enomoto's route. For argument's sake, could say. Nah, so no hen wa kang I get it. Show do ye yats ga. Hi, hi, die job. So go on, nah, mo mundi nashi. Ore te you shin shin a go e ga iru kara sa. 俺としちゃ男の部屋あさりよりも女の子とデートできる方が楽しいし一石二鳥だからついてっていいよね That's bad terminology when we're investigating a murder so <笑>却下大却下 And it would absolutely not be a date うーわ揃って何その塩対応もうちょっと乗ってくれない Do you really have to ask? というか、夜道で会う不審者より、君の方がずっと危なそう。<笑>そうだそうだお前よりまだ岡崎の方がマシって岡崎ガクサキ had joined the conversation as if he'd been there all along, and Enomoto's belated realization sent him into a panic. お前、盗み聞きしてたのか人聞き悪いな。今来たとこだよ。なんか聞き込みとかって聞こえたけど。それなら、俺が彼女のガードにつこうかああ、助かる。というか、もともとそのつもりだった。So, Yanagi does ask Okazaki for help. When I first arrived, Yanagi's team had a bit of an icy relationship with him, but it seems like they're cooperating a bit more nowadays. He walks me home a lot, and I do feel much safer when he's around. Chee, <laughs> マジで任せたぞ。うん、なんだか新鮮だね。バッチリガードするから、任せといて。Well, his voice is so good. He's just got this very, like, you know, very sweet, calm demeanor about him. や,やっぱ不安しかねえ。So, do you trust him or not? With the exception of Sasazuka, we all headed over to Matsushima's apartment. While Yanagi and Enomoto investigated the apartment, I walked the neighborhood with Okazaki and explained the general situation to him. Naruhodo. Adonis to Kakawari Garuka mo shirenai fushinna yukue fumeisha ne. Jijou wa nanto naku wakatta yo. Demo, Adonis ga kanke shite ru nara, honbu ni tsutaita hou ga i n janai no? I'd love to let them know, but none of this is particularly credible at this point. Sorry, what I meant is that the police probably won't do anything with information that vague. I chose to keep things fuzzy so I wouldn't reveal myself as a police officer. Okazaki whispered something into my ear. ヤナギさんたちが動いたってことはそれなりの根拠があるんだよね。Well, yes. Aware of Tachibana's attention, I was startled by his whisper. I can't exactly tell you why, but we need enough evidence to convince an outside observer. Okazaki knew that I was a police officer and that I was investigating the ex state cases. But I had to avoid directly telling him about the caller and anything related to it. After a moment of silence, Okazaki sighed in agreement. Ma, 
そうだね失踪者を探すだけなら緊急性も低いし裏を取ってからの方がいいのは確かだよ We're being cautious because we don't know all the facts, but that actually works in our favor in this case. And the need for concrete evidence wasn't just a special circumstance for this case. When an officer wants to confirm the ver veracity of a claim, they gather bits of corroboration information. Without concrete evidence, all stories are typically classified by the police as unsupported allegations. SRCPO was swamped with reports on a daily basis. Among those, a good portion were of low urgency, and there would be a few others that were hoaxes. Of course, the police didn't have nearly enough resources to respond to every call. We had to do our best to verify the credibility of reports and organize them by category. That was one of SRCPO's most important duties. Have you seen the man in this photo? He should live nearby. Hmm. I haven't been to the house. Sorry, Hoshino-san. I haven't been to the house. Even the fact that you don't recognize him is still valuable information. I apologize for taking up your time. Thank you for your cooperation. That's good. I'm sorry. 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 I certainly will, but I'm afraid I won't be drinking. I lowered the phone I borrowed from Tachibana and sighed as I watched the women leave. Still nothing. I turned around to see Okazaki watching me with a somewhat surprised expression. Okazaki? Tachibana? Did you discover anything? No. <laughs> すごい手慣れた聞き込みだったからさでも探偵っていうよりまるでドラマの刑事みたいだねプライベートインベスティゲーターズハーフトクエスチョンウィットネスズ2 I'm pretty used to it うん聞き方も丁寧だし相手が警戒しない対応だよね見てて感心しちゃったてか顔広いんだな何町内会のアイドル的存在 They're just people I happen to know. I patrolled this neighborhood, so I was acquainted with many of the seniors, but I couldn't say that. Tachibana was watching me with interest. I took out my own phone. I'm going to give Yanagi my report. We don't have, to mu we don't have much to say, though. Hmm. <sighs> Without exception, not a single person we'd questioned had ever seen Matsushima before. Yes. We can make inferences about his difficult work life and his daily commute. すごいね、探偵って。聞き込みなんて役に立つのかって思ったけど、つまり地道な消去法ってことか。Right. By eliminating possibilities, we can focus our attention on more likely leads. Of course, this is all just conjecture. We're still waiting for Yanagi's results. Uh-huh. でも見直したよただの可愛い女の子じゃないんだな And sent I sent my message to Yanagi and turned back to Tachibana I'd like to question, question the locals a little longer Do you have any other leads or information? 手がかりよく行くスーパーとか居酒屋とか彼の行動範囲がわかる情報ってことだよいやあいつほんと仕事ばっかでさそういうのは特に Tachibana smacked his fist into his palm as he made a sudden realization あそうだあいつがよく行くって言ってた公園が近くにあった気がする人の気配はないね Well 
We knew that there was a chance we wouldn't run into anyone. At Tachibana's suggestion, we had come to the park, which was completely empty at this time of night. There was nothing noteworthy about it. Since Shinjuku had been quarantined, I doubted that many people would venture into a park at night. After we walked through the park and found nothing, Tachibana sighed and looked up at a street lamp. We don't know that for sure yet. There might be other leads we can. Yeah, でも状況的に黒っぽくない。思い返しても怪しい要素しかなかったし。武器だの、死体だの、ドラッグだの。いつもやばそうなサイトばっか見ててさ、最高っぽかったからな。But. あ、フォローしてくれなくていいよ。いくら友達でも許容範囲ってのがあるじゃん犯罪者なら犯罪者でとっとと捕まえてくれないと迷惑だからね。It wouldn't be wrong to say that our work tonight was a disappointment, but I was shocked by Tachibana's suddenly indifferent tone. He had supposedly come to our agency out of deep concern for his missing friend, but now he was acting as if he was bored and tired of the chase. It was perplexing. まあ、松本だっけあ、水島だっけあいつのことはいいとして。それより俺、あんたに興味あるな。Among all the people I'd gotten to know recently, Tachibana now reminded me of Shiraishi most. He was smiling, but his expression was cold. Even Okazaki frowned. でも、彼は友達なんでしょあまあそうなんじゃないあっちがそう思ってたか知らないけど。じゃあ、松島が悪い人間だったとして、なんで君にだけ普段の姿を晒したのかな。普通犯罪者なら、親しい人間にも怪しげな素振りは伏せておくよね。しかも君には、部屋の出入りも許してる。さあ、なんでって言われても、そんなの俺が聞きたいよ。この疑問に答えられるのは君だけだよ。だって、松島翔太が存在していることを知っているのは、今のところ、君だけなんだから。Okazaki now leveled a piercing glare at him, but Tachibana simply shrugged it off. 何それ俺だけじゃないよ。他にも大家さんとか知ってたじゃん。一度会っただけの相手なんて知ってるの範囲に入らないよ。現に大家さん、多分って感じで顔も覚えてないって言ってたしね。細かいとこ気にすんな。人間の記憶なんて曖昧だよ。それこそ、君が髪型や服装をちょこっと変えて、松島翔太を名乗っても。騙し倒せるかもしれないほどにね。はあ。タチバナ let out an exaggerated sigh. Then he turned to me and grinned. ところでさ、この辺はあらかたもあったし、もう聞き込みは必要ないよね。部屋も他の二人が調べてるし、俺たちやることなくない ？That's not true. We need to regroup and share. このお兄さんが一人いれば十分でしょう。警察でも何でも勝手に行けばいいしさ。だから、俺と一緒に飲みにでも。タチバナ reached for my hand. 警察なら、君にもついてきてもらうよ。オカザキ caught タチバナ's arm and didn't let go. He fixed him with a still gaze. 俺は調子とかする担当じゃないから参考人として来てもらわないと話にならない君の情報には妙なところが多いしね Yeah, this guy was sus like right out the gate えー、そんなの勝手にやっといてよめんどくさいな
You're the one who came to us. Aren't you worried about your friend? Do you mean that you're not friends anymore because he's a criminal? あ、まあ、それもあるんじゃない。でも一番の理由は時間切れだから。Out of time. With a gloomy expression, Tachibana shook free of Okazaki's hand. Then, I feel like we should see. <laughs> Phone buzzed. It's from Yanagi. Did I get it all? Hello, this is Hoshino. Hoshino, so when he touched Banama, you got you know, a cocky is to Hoshi. On Tony Matsushima, a cocky soon be done. What do you mean? He told me here, she loved it. 一見生活していたように見せかけてあるが、その実暮らしていた痕跡があまりに薄い。明らかに何者かに作られた部屋だ。話自体がおかしいとしか思えない。いいか。立花から目を離した。お前たちは今どこにいる？We're Tachibana moved so quickly I couldn't see it coming, and he knocked the phone from my hand. You? I glared at Tachibana, who had taken a step back. Okazaki interposed himself between us. ほら、やっぱり時間切れだ。もうちょっと難しくしてもよかったかな。ごまかそうともしないんだね。持ち込んだ依頼自体が嘘だったってこと。so your friend Matsushima never existed? That's far too serious to be playing pranks about. What are you trying to achieve? あんたに興味があったからって言ったら信じてくれる？あ？これは嘘じゃないよ。どんな人間なのか知りたかったんだ。監視の対象になるような特別な人間だ。どれだけ優秀な警察官なのか。He knows that I'm a police, and I'm, and even worse. Kanshi? Okazaki's brows knitted in a frown. Indeed, Tachibana had just been hinting at my collar. Chisato Tachibana stared at me and practically started giving a soliloquy. The look he was giving me was starting to send shivers up my spine. What are you talking about? Are you with Adonis? だとしたらよくわからないな。あまりにも行動が<笑> もっとやり方はあったはずだけど。
What are you getting at? Asobi Gokono mo hitsio dat te koto. Antara wa atama ga katai nda. Enough dancing around. Just answer the question. What are you after? Ora sore. Sugu mei kakuna ryu o hoshigaru. Antara mi tai ni doki o genri ni kangaeru ningen wa ne. Imi no nai kodo ni oai nda. Dakara kou shite keikai shin ga usurere. I felt like he was looking right into my mind. I felt a slight quiver of fear. It won't be... I won't be intimidated. Tachibana stepped forward and flashed another grin at me. Okasaki's back was to me. I felt a shiver of anxiety. Oh. That's right. Okazaki's part of the special police force. Okazaki! Tachibana drew a knife from his pocket and dropped into a fighting stance. さっきから邪魔だと思ってたんだよ。バレるの前提の計画でも邪魔されたらそれはそれで腹が立つんでね。Light glinted off his blade. He intended to kill Okazaki. I moved to draw my pistol, but Okazaki gestured at me to stop. 俺の後ろから動かないで。I don't know what's gonna happen, okay? SP wa aite ni suru no wa hajimete da na. Dore dake yaru no ga chotto tanoshimi. Nja, mazu wa kote shirabe da. Otenami haiken sasete mora. It happened in an instant. In the time it took Tachibana to blink, Okazaki had closed the distance. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, that's our Okazaki! Before Tachibana could finish his speech, Okazaki had knocked the knife from his hand. His eyes further widened in surprise as Okazaki planted an elbow squarely into his solar plexus. Solar plexus! <laughs> Tachibana was on his knees, coughing violently. Okazaki slowly approached. Okazaki! Tachibana pulled a handgun from his pocket, the dark metal glinting in the dim light. Okazaki drew his sidearm at almost the same instant. However, Tachibana wasn't pointing his gun at either Okazaki or me. Ugokuna! The muzzle rested against his temple. Are you planning to kill yourself? Ugokuna yo. Oh man, but we don't care about him, right? <laughs> I hadn't expected it either, but it was an effective threat. No matter what information he had, if he killed himself, we would never get it. And as a police officer, I'd never let someone die from suicide under my watch. <laughs><笑> 
Burn, burn! <laughs> Go Okazaki! Given my position, I couldn't let Tachibana kill himself. Okazaki appeared to be provoking him, but there seemed to be a firmness in his tone. From behind, I whispered my intentions to Okazaki. Okazaki, I'll shoot him in the hand. Here. With you standing in the way, he can't see what I'm planning. My hand drifted towards my concealed holster, and I slowly gripped the gun so, such, so Tachibana didn't hear. I didn't have the luxury of taking careful aim, and I had almost... And I had also never practiced shooting from awkward positions. As soon as you move, though, he might notice me. I'll take the shot from here and catch him by surprise. From behind, I couldn't see what Okazaki was doing, but he was probably talking without moving his lips. Kazaki traded verbal barbs with Tachibana, then murmured so that only I could hear. But in this situation, I can't simply sit back and allow myself to be protected. Please, let me do this. I'm a police officer too. <laughs> I'm trying to see how this would like play out because like he's just standing there with a gun to his head and it's just like we're just taking our time here. All right. I gave him a small nod, and Okazaki returned to taunting Tachibana without missing a beat. Itteokukedo.このまま膠着状態を保ったところで、不利なのはそっちだよ。柳さんたちも異変に気づいて、こっちに向かっている頃合いだ。時間は君の味方じゃない。Not yet. Just a little more. Angai nonki nanda ne. Nanda to. Kunren sarita sento in kato omotta kedo. Haigo no kehai ni mo kizuke nai no. Now! Tachibana didn't turn around, but the ruse was enough to distract him. I took the opening and fired. Ooh, here we go! Woohoo! I got him! The gun flew from Tachibana's grasp, and Okazaki didn't miss the chance to leap forward. Tachibana reacted with a fighting stance now that Okazaki was in, within spitting distance. He threw out a knife hand strike, intending to gouge at Okazaki's eyes. But it was a distraction. Tachibana followed the strike with an upward knee at Okazaki's jaw. Okazaki had to dart out of the way of the merciless blows. <laughs> the two men clashed several times in a melee and I took the opportunity to secure Tachibana's gun. I tried to cover Okazaki with my sidearm, but the fighting made it too hard to get a clear shot. As I watched the fighting intensely, Tachibana turned his attention to me. Huh? For an instant, not even a second, Okazaki followed Tachibana's gaze and turned toward me. No, Okazaki! It had only been an instant, but it was enough time for Tachibana to throw sand in Okazaki's face and follow it up with a knee to his side. <coughs> Okazaki! I started towards Okazaki, but then immediately stopped in my tracks, realizing that I'd just be a hindrance to him. Ha! <laughs> 
表の世界で生きる人間か正攻法でしか攻撃の手がないのか殺す覚悟もない警察の犬が俺に失敗は許されないぬるま湯で生きてきた人間が俺に勝てるはずがないそうだ俺は俺こそが誰より優秀でなければならない多少実力差があろうがな殺しを知らない甘っちょろい戦い方で俺に勝てるわけがないんだよ Seemingly drunk on his own words, Tachibana hurled strikes at Okazaki again and again. But Okazaki skillfully took the blows and shifted slightly. So, that's it. Jitsuyuksa got to show on that. He firmly planted himself in a stance, caught Tachibana's arm, and flipped him over his back. <laughs> yeah. That's my man's. <laughs> it was a beautiful textbook one arm shoulder throw that slammed Tachibana into the ground. Was Judah flip? <laughs> At the same time, I heard familiar voices approaching from a distance. Oi! Tachibana! Miska! Enamoto! Yanagi! <sighs> Did we arrest him? After that, Tachibana passed out. I don't think we caught him in our other playthroughs. That's funny. By the time we handed him over to the police and gave our reports, it was late into the night. Everything was quiet for now, and Okazaki walked me back home. Okazaki, thank you for taking me home again. I'm sorry for getting you caught up in that mess. You were in danger. Thanks. I returned his gentle smile with a strained grin. For some reason, Okazaki didn't seem displeased at all to have been thrown into danger. On the contrary, he looked genuinely happy. It was bewildering. Yes. But Tachibana's actions tonight don't align with the way Adonis normally operates. In fact, we didn't really know if Chisato Tachibana was part of Adonis. He had claimed to be observing me, but Adonis could already do that via the color. His actions seemed pointless. Perhaps the assumption that his actions would make sense caused us to let our guard down this time. On top of that, the color's silence during this entire incident struck me as unnatural. If Tachibana really is part of Adonis, does that mean he's not cooperating with the person that's behind the color? That would mean Adonis isn't a unified organization. Adonis is not a unified organization. But he was not a unified organization. Was he though, Okazaki? You made short work of him. You could tell after fighting him once? I felt like you had the upper hand. I felt like I was the upper hand. But I was a type of training for the special training. If Okazaki is that complimentary of him, he must have been a truly skilled fighter. I suddenly felt unsteady on my feet, struck by how ignorant I was. Okazaki patted me on the head as if to steady me. Thank you. The warmth of his offer made me smile. But what you did earlier scared me half to death. Please be more careful. It's 
because you tried to capture him without hurting him that you ended up like this. <laughs> huh? When I reached out to the slightly dirtied area of Okazaki's shirt, he pulled away and made a strange noise. I looked up in surprise to see him scratching his cheek awkwardly. <laughs> Guy. <laughs> You're lying, aren't you? Are you injured? <laughs> the harassment comes later in this playthrough. <laughs> Did Tachibana hurt you during that brawl? Tachibana <laughs> This guy. That's a big deal. This guy's stuck in the mud. Even if it isn't an emergency, you must still be in a lot of pain. To think he'd been pretending he was perfectly fine the entire time since we caught Tachibana. It's not about how you look. I know that you were fighting while trying to protect me, and that you were also trying to take Tachibana in unharmed. Wakasaki? The way he murmured to himself seemed colder than usual. Concerned, I looked up at him. Wakasaki, I know you take your work seriously, but right now, I don't care about your mistakes. You were hurt while protecting me. That's why I can't let this slide. Please go to the hospital. Right now. With a wry chuckle, he raised his hands in resignation. Promise me. Huh? This cheeky guy. <laughs> it's very cheeky. There was an awkward silence. Okasaki noticed me staring at my feet and he laughed again. Nante, Jodan da ya. Imakarademo chanto bioini. You're right. Even if you went to the emergency room, they would only make you wait for first aid. Okay. You're coming over to my place. The living room was empty and quiet, so Kazuki was probably asleep already. I invited Okazaki inside. I tried to remember my first aid training from my police academy days and struggled to get the bandages in place. Use a towel, wrap it firmly over the affected area, and fix it in place. Woo! How's that, Okazaki? Is it too tight? Oh, daijoubu da kedo. Sore yori sa. Nande me o sorashite no? I'm not looking away. Eh? Do mite mo me ga oyoi de. I'm not. You're imagining it. This is medical treatment, nothing more. If you're insinuating I invited you under false pretenses, I'd appreciate it if you'd abandon those notions. Yeah. He's look at that muscles. Those muscles. Yeah. I knew that giving him first aid here might end up leading to this. Okazaki's back was right in front of me, and I felt like it threatened to engulf me. 
He appeared slim in build, but in fact, he had very tight muscled physique. He had a very tight... Okay. His wiry body gave him a masculine aura, which belied his baby face. No, 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 no. Get your mind out of the gutter. Edgy. <laughs> I'm not staring. I'm not even looking. My eyes are basically closed. Uh, Cheeky. Fine. I was looking. Oh my goodness, this guy's... This guy? <laughs> Why would you do that? I shrieked in exasperation, which only prompted Okazaki to tease me for a few more minutes. Besides the rib injuries, you have a lot of small cuts and bruises, too. Namakizu <laughs> Okazaki laughed merrily, and I felt that I could neither agree nor disagree with his mindset. It was easy for me to say that I didn't want him to be reckless, but his work as an SP didn't really allow him to shy away from danger. If I keep pursing them, as opposed to pursuing them. And that's how a small incident on December 10th ended, in the midst of the X Day events. We captured Chisato Tachibana and handed him over to the pol to police custody. Apparently, he completely refused to talk. A formal investigation was initiated. However, after one of his interviews, Tachibana disappeared, apparently aided by an unknown party. This naturally sparked suspicions of a mole and the opening of an internal investigation. However, with each successive X-Day incident, Personnel had to be diverted to other cases, and those investigations ground to a halt. The Tachibana incident remained hazy, and we returned to investigating our original cases. Soon, we were buried under a mountain of work, and nobody had time to remember Chisato Tachibana. Who was he? What was he actually after? No one would ever know. Time to start chapter one. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, after story. Here we go. Okay, Okazaki, chapter one. Oh, this is. I don't know that there's bad endings in this game. I think that there are, like, great endings and, like, all right endings is what my understanding is. I could be... Uh, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Just at a glance, it does look like there are bad endings, so... I'll try not to get them. All right. All right. Okazaki, Chapter 1. Shinjuku District, Tokyo. Population of approximately 330,000. Uh, I think I remember this went too fast. <laughs> I was a rookie cop who was just starting out, and amidst the chaos, I was scrambling to protect the public. See how fast that was? Alright. And then, I met him. Okazaki was assigned to protect Yanagi and the other members of the detective agency. His smile and demeanor were brimming with kindness and care for me. 
Having been collared and closely monitored by Adonis, I caused harm to the police efforts. <laughs> I can't do it fast enough.何があっても君を守るよ。だから君も何があっても逃げないで。大丈夫だよ。もう傷一つつけさせないから。可愛いって思うのも、こういう顔見せるのは俺だけにしてほしいって思うのも、手をつなぎたいって思うのも、君だけ
in a light, gentle embrace. Okazaki's smiling face filled my vision. It's already been three months. I got the stitches out a while ago. I'm trying to remember if like at the ending at the ending of the other one if I like took a bullet for him or like did something to protect him and that's why he's like ah shit <laughs> maybe his fingertips gently trace the fresh scars on my flank <sighs> no it just tickles Okazaki repeated himself, then stooped over me and kissed the scar. I felt the heat of his tongue lightly caressing the outlines of my wounds, as if he was an animal licking its mate's wounds. Uh, uh, I understand this is perceived as a romantic gesture, but... I'm not too keen. Not too keen. Hey, listen to me. Hmm? Kasaki, no. His lips touched my belly and flank, then moved to the other parts of my body. I don't like this term flank. It refers to stakes or like strategic battle arrangements. Not buddies. This had also become part of our recent routine. We were too busy to meet during the day, so we only had time in the evenings or when our days off happened to match up. There was no helping that. But this was too... Lascivious. Lascivious? Any lascivious? Okay. Of a person, manner, or gesture, feeling or revealing an overt and often offensive sexual desire. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Too sexy, too sexy. <laughs> That's the layman's terms. <sighs> After I caught my breath and tidied up my clothes, I finished preparing the half cooked meal and we finally sat down at the dining table. I looked at Okazaki sitting next to me, who had haphazardly put his discarded suit back on. Today, can we just take it easy after dinner? <laughs> this guy is an animal. This <laughs> I'm happy to help out with dinner anytime. I do it because I like it anyway. But please, don't overwork yourself. Shouldn't you at least take a nap? Daijobu. I wasn't sure how to reply, so I just passed him a spoon and plate. I then plated a serving bowl of mapo tofu, a savory meal enhanced with lightly fragrant sesame oil. Okazaki smacked his lips in anticipation. Mm <laughs> Thanks! Are you okay with the spiciness? I tried adding a bit more heat this time. もうちょっと辛くても大丈夫かな。はあ、体に染み渡る。Okay, I'll add a bit more pepper then. Okazaki seemed to be genuinely enjoying the food. I smiled in relief as I watched him slurp down the Chinese egg soup. ごめんね。なかなか会える時間が取れなくて。it's all right. I understand. Your work is super busy. All right, I gotta say it. I'm not too. I'm not too keen on this ponytail business. Like I, I, I like his hair length, and I feel like it's made worse when he puts it in a ponytail. Though, not too keen. 
but since we don't have much time together, I'd like to act a bit more like lovers when we do have time to spend with each other. <laughs> That's not what I meant. We could go on dates and stuff. I want to do the other things that normal couples do too. Ah, Yeah, not just a booty call. Nara, I've got a lot of places in mind, of course. Whether it was shopping, theme parks, or even just leisurely strolling around town, I was sure I'd enjoy it with Okazaki. But I knew how tired work had made him recently. So, if we went on a date, I wanted to go somewhere he could get some rest and relaxation. Why don't we go see a movie or visit the planetarium? Oh, are you sure? Wouldn't you rather rest at home a bit on your days off? No. He really had such a beautiful smile. Okazaki set down his spoon and flashed a heartfelt grin at me. You should be. <laughs> Not at all. I'm happy to do it, and I want to spend more time with you too. Hmm. But a date is good, but it doesn't mean anything to do without it. I have a little bit of time for the rest of my life. What do you think of any other people? Okazaki cocked his head in thought. The gesture gave me a bad feeling about what he was going to suggest, and I slightly stiffened. Ha! Soda! Game demo sure? Katta ho no you koto nan demo kiku toka. Do shita no? Sono kao. This will be a normal, wholesome game, right? No, chiro. Kono mae terebi de mitan da kedo ne? Koi bito no skina tokoro o agetete. Oh, that's good. I like that. Oh, that sounds interesting. It was hard to tell what Okazaki was thinking, so I did want to hear what he liked about me. On that note. Five second timer. Yeah, that's easy. Sure. I won't lose. I cleaned up the dishes, then nodded at him to begin. Oh, I like that. Um, I like how cute your emojis are. It's true. Come on, your five seconds are almost up. Hmm. I like that you're strong and reliable. I like that you're stubborn. Hey, that's cheating. <laughs> hey, no fair. That's not, that's the same. Um, as for me. I like how cute you are when you pout. I like that you're a bit of a tease. How much time had passed since we started playing? It felt like a long time, and we eventually ran out of things to say. Hmm. He's reliable, which I already said. He spoils me. No, I said that too. One other quality that I liked about him was... <laughs> this one. Cheeky guy. I like your troublesome personality. That sounds a little different than like I, that you're kind of a troublemaker. I feel like that. <laughs> I feel like the translation there is a little off. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm not sure I understand it either, but it's definitely something that I like about you. Most of the time, you're warm and kind, but sometimes you suddenly get clingy. Other times, you get all pouty and stubborn. You also worry too much. I do find myself thinking that you're hard to deal with, but that's something I like about you. <laughs> you're right, it isn't. <laughs> After puffing out his cheeks like a child, Okazaki seemed to cheer up. でも。そうだね。やっぱり嬉しいかな。<笑> Okazaki closed his eyes and tilted his head in thought, slowly leaning, leaning towards me. Three, four, five, the time limit expired, then... Uh, Before I had a chance to voice my surprise, his lips sealed up my next words. I found myself trembling, and he relented just enough to leave an intimate distance between us, whispering, What was I supposed to say to that? I... I, I hate that ponytail! Oh gosh! <laughs> Why'd they do that? <laughs> Our lips connected again, robbing me of my will to resist. Seeing my reaction, Okazaki grinned mischievously. Hi, Gobyo. Kimi no make. Dakara, ore no hoga kimi o skitte koto de i? That was cheating! Bogai kinshi nante ruru nakata shine. それに。君があんなにたくさん俺の好きなとこ行ってくれるんだもん。我慢できなくなっちゃっても仕方ないよ。That's not the point. Ignoring my protest, Okazaki wrapped me up in an embrace and whispered into my ear. じゃあ、勝ったご褒美は今度のデートの時ね。楽しみにしてて。All right, this is Okazaki's perspective. Hideki Yoshinari. That's his assistant. Former assistant, I guess. やっぱり夜中から動いてる身には昼間の日差しが染みますね。ああ、本庁に戻ったら寝たい。せめて少しでも仮眠。仮眠するのはいいけど、それで全部忘れないようにね。せっかくした調べしてきたんだし。大丈夫っすよ。現地の地にも狙撃しやすいポイントも全部頭に叩き込みましたから。We left work under the bright noon sun. Yoshinari and I had just finished our early morning assignment and were on the way back to headquarters. VIP protection was more than a single day assignment. It was also critical to scope out points for potential sniping or ambush and set up countermeasures once we knew the principal's route. If we couldn't secure an escape route in the event that the principal came under attack, we would be in deep trouble. Ah, so that's right. Yuube was Hoshino-san to meet you. It's been a long time, isn't it? 
会えない時間が愛を育んだ的な感じで寂しかったわけさんとかなんとか<笑>うん吉成くんせっかくだから脳に衝撃を与えても記憶を保てるように訓練しようかあうわいたたたたたたたた Look, look how funny. Cho, Senpai, Senpai, Futsu, Ningen no Kansas or Sotini Magari Masente. Dai job, Yoshinari Kuma, Futsu no Ningen Janaikara. Homer at a Giga Sinai Skedo. Hm, Homer de Naikara, eh? I held the joint lock until Yoshinari showed a little remorse. He rubbed his arms, groaning. Oh, 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 ヨシナリ君ってどういう子がタイプなんだっけもちろん可愛い子がいいっすで、優しくて、俺を慕ってて、金持ちで<笑> This guy <笑>君さ、そういうこと言うからモテないんだよへぇ、先輩にだけは言われたくないあ、嘘っす嘘なので首ゴキゴキ言わすのやめてくださいまああれっすね。俺は割と甘えてくる子が好きなんですよ。ちょっとわがままなくらいが可愛いというか。ああ、それはわかるかも。猫もそうだけど、甘えられると嬉しいよね。まあ、俺の場合それが行き過ぎて、俺の人権無視レベルでわがままになっていったあげく、喧嘩別れになるんですけどね。<笑>ああうんありがとう反面教師として参考になるよ I had a feeling I understood Yoshinari's desire to have someone order him around でもそっか甘やかしすぎちゃうのも考えものってことかまあ星野さんだったらそこまでわがままになったりしないと思いますけどねというか想像つかないっすそもそも星野さん二人きりの時は甘えてきたりするんですかうーんそういうことしてる時以外はそんなんでもないかな俺としてはもうちょっとわがまま言ってほしいぐらいなんだけどねいいっすねいやいや先輩の彼女だしフラチな想像はダメなんですけどあのおしとやかそうな星野さんが二人きりの時は大胆に<笑>はい吉成くんラジオ体操第8首を180度後ろに回す運動から Radio Calisthenics No.8 A calisthenic exercise for better physical health The No.8 refers to a、uh, Kei Okazaki original routine It is vastly harsher than the routines Uh, oh, yeah, one through three. Numbers and number seven includes wall climbing. Number nine includes a two,、uh, includes two finger push ups. And number ten is just a full run marathon. Yoshinari correctly indicates that this is no longer considered calisthenics. Nasca, Nasca, Kore! Jintai Kozo, the Kinni Kanona Tai Soto, Omoena! Poor Yoshinari. We made our way back to headquarters, roughhousing along the way. It was time for lunch, so we headed to the office cafe. It took about that long for Yoshinari to screw his head back on. It was actually rather amazing that he managed to stretch it back out after I twisted it so hard. I doubted I could ever match his recovery speed. Ah, so da. 
そういえば新人任されてたよね教育してた子はどうなったのなあもう別のやつに引き渡しましたよ基礎はみっちり叩き込んだし能力はかなり高いですからまあ問題ないかとなんだかずいぶん手を焼いてたみたいだけどめっちゃ生意気でしたからねまったく最近の若いもんと来たらというか先輩の下に戻れることを喜べる日が来るとは思いませんでした<笑>身にしみたこれからもみっちり指導してあげるね<笑>嬉しいっす<笑>実際次の仕事は結構難しそうだから気を引き締めないと南ナイル共和国でしたっけ大使の敬語ですよね、はあ、緊張する俺たちだけじゃないし他のベテランもつくから大丈夫だよそういや先輩って最近前にも増して鍛えてますよねその任務に備えてですかそれもあるけどまだ鈍ってる感じがしてさ本庁に戻ってからはリハビリがてらトレーニングメニュー3倍にしたんだきえあの殺人メニューの3倍それ以上強くなってどうするのかと俺なんてまだまだだよ SP の基本は日々鍛錬って言ったでしょじゃないと反射的に体が動いてくれないしきえあの殺人メニューの3倍それ以上強くなっサイメスト。あの殺人メニューの3倍。それ以上強くなってどうするのかと。マサキスメニュー。Being an SP requires one to possess superior physical ability, so they go through rigorous training. However, training without a plan can cause one to be fit but lacking in practical strength. Okazaki and Yoshinari test each other's conditioning to maintain proper training regimen for their core and back. To normal folks, Their regimen seems insane. Okay. Ore nante, mada mada da yo. SP no kihon wa hibi tan len te itta de sho? Janai to, hansha teki ni karada ga ugoite kure nai shi. Ma, tsugi no nimmu ga kincho suru no wa ore mo da kara, yokei ni chikara ire chatte run da kedo ne. Eh, senpai ga? Kincho suru toko a run desu ka? こを何だと思ってるのそりゃもちろんザ・怪力モンスターん食後も運動したいってじゃあ後で本庁の裏に行こうかおお校舎裏に呼び出しとか学生以来なんですけども Take a sip of tea while Yoshinari laughed heartily. Kincho Kurai, Surya. Since the attempted assassination of the Prime Minister, I'd been taken off high profile work and assigned to token guard duties and training. After the resolution of the X Day murders restored my good standing, I was given a protection assignment as a test of my skills. It was far more fulfilling work than shadowy assignments of unknown significance. I was needed. I was useful. I felt satisfaction I hadn't tasted in a long time. At the same time, I couldn't deny a creeping feeling of unease. それこそ数年ぶりの大きな仕事だ。I absolutely could not fail. Lives rested in the hands of the SP, and there was no margin for errors in judgment. Yes, it was business as usual. I just had to do what I always did commit myself to the mission, using my own life as a shield. For an instant, her face came to mind. 
Self-sacrifice was a pillar of the SP's esprit de corps. It was a way of life that was pounded into us, and a virtue that I value deeply, even now. Yeah. I'd assume that I wouldn't fear death so long as that death had meaning. No. Oh, he's very sweet. That said, I couldn't possibly jeopardize the principal's life in order to protect myself. If I wanted to reconcile that contradiction, then. In the assassination attempt on the Prime Minister two years ago, my partner, Wataru Kusima, had died. It had happened all because I hesitated. The idea that he might have been a member of Donis brought me no comfort at all. I hadn't known his true motive at the time, so it didn't change the fact that I had let him die, even if he had been part of Adonis. After that, I was deemed unsuitable for SP officer duty and removed from active service. I was entirely responsible for that demotion. I hadn't been demoted because I failed the mission. No, command had judged me unfit for duty because I abandoned my duty in the face of desperate circumstances. I grew disgruntled, anxious, and depressed after having my role in life taken from me and had plenty of time to nurse those emotions. Like a man possessed, I searched for a place to die until I met her. Three months ago, she had taken a bullet from me. This too was because of my own failure. So I wouldn't hesitate anymore. I'd erase any doubts so that I could protect the thing most important to me. So that I wouldn't lose anyone else because of my weak resolve. So that I could protect everything within my reach, I had to become stronger than anyone else. You've reached the S, the Special Regents Crime Prevention Office. I was about to abbreviate it. I hear you, ma'am. You must be worried about your neighborhood. We'll come out and take a look. Could you please tell me the location? <laughs> Rafi, hello! It is. It is the team of six Cecils. <laughs> and I'm just answering the phone at this call center. <laughs> hi, hi, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good start to your week so far. Let me see, give me a second. So, Rafi? Yay, thank you for coming in. <laughs> we are just, we, you saw, you saw me get married last week. Um, and now, in this alternate reality, in this other multiverse, I'm, I'm pursuing a different person from the same universe. <laughs> this time, it's the, uh, one of the special officers who, um, I was, uh, I mentioned earlier that he's, uh, the voice of Aaron Yeager uh, in Attack on Titan and Shoto from My Hero Academia, among others. So, uh, but he's, he's a very prolific <laughs> voice actor. <laughs> and he's our boyfriend. <laughs> they, they ate each other. Each 
team becomes stronger when they eat the previous team. So we're on the sixth iteration. A six course meal. <laughs> yes, just from my own calls, it feels about 30% are recording next day. Those murders must have left some deep scars in the community. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing imminently, uh, like, murdering the, uh, <laughs> murdering the world with him this time. He's just real cheeky, this game. <laughs> Cecile Team 7, hmm. Let's see. It just depends. Maybe this is the, the, the strongest iteration. Although seven is a very auspicious number. That's like, isn't that how many? I think we have that many chakras. I think that a lot of people like that number in gambling. So, you know, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh, if only, if only. <laughs> I think we'd have to get to Cecile team 600. <laughs> Since the quarantine was lifted, Shinjuku was rapidly regaining its former vitality. Traffic and activities had returned to prior levels, so on paper, the town was no different than it had been before the quarantine. There, yeah, 66,000, but not 666. That would be a very unlucky Cecile team. <laughs> um, maybe that'll be a Halloween thing. <laughs> But of course, the fear of th that the X Day killings instilled into the hearts of people remained. X Day murders were like, that was the case that we solved in the last game. So people are still like, not, don't feel like they're in the clear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like, uh, yeah, I like that, Rafi. I also think about, like, uh, I need to not be bad at games, or else I'll be Cecile Team Sucks. <laughs> but yeah, I'd rather not be Cecile Team Six. Six all over people. Blech. <laughs> oh no, I'm not. I'm sockless right now. <laughs> but that would be a good merch option. <laughs> You're just you're just crank you're just cranking the gears. Uh, the, the machine is like is is lighting up now in my brain. So <laughs> of course they're still afraid. Nothing like this has ever happened before. In fact, there had been a number of calls today wondering if the quarantine would return should anything dangerous happen. So I listened to those fears and calmed them. My job in SRCPO hadn't changed a bit. Yuzuru Saiki. Wait, when does my this game play take place? Hi Saiki. Are you off work already? So in in the last game, he was a very big pivotal part of the organization we were going after. He was like like a, it was a big deal. Um and so in in this game, when we did the previous love interest route, he was already in jail. So I I don't know what time this this takes place. It should still be at the end. So why is he floating around this hallway? <laughs> the seal team sticks. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. -hmm. I like that. Although it makes me think of like, you know, when they talk about like, uh, it's, it's not bad neighborhoods. It's like country neighborhoods, right? It's like, it's like you live out in the sticks. So like, if I live out in the country, that'll be. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, and if I ever do like cup stacking, it could be Cecile team stacks. <laughs> it's getting maybe that's a little too too stretchy. <laughs> I'm not good at those cup stacking games. Yeah. Mmm, I love that. I love that, Rathi. Mm -hmm. Like that should be an installment. That should be like, I I watch like mm, other streamers do those like ranking lists. So that would be. That would be <laughs> what they're called. <laughs> we'll have to think about that. Hi, Saiki. Are you off work already? That's a good call. That's a really good call. Thank you so much for the idea. I'm probably gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna jot that down. <laughs> I'll probably use that. And also, it makes it very easy. Because, like, I'm very... Uh, mm, no, it's not that I'm indecisive. Sometimes I just have a lot of things, like a lot of directions it can go. So like having a limiter of six feels good. <laughs> I had finished eating lunch and there was still some time before my meal, uh, my break ended. <laughs> yeah, um, in my Discord channel, I have like a, one of the channels is like dedicated to food and it's called Meal Team Six, but... That was something I actually saw that like um, somebody else had used that on the internet, and I just I just borrowed the name because it was on theme. So, <laughs> in a hallway, I'd run into Psyche, who was yawning and stretching. Yeah, right. You were on leave for family reasons, right? Did you get to see them? まあ、いろいろ厄介なことが起きててさ、ちょっと立て込んでるんだよ。それはそうと、星野は、これから飯でも食うなら付き合うけど。I actually just finished eating. I'm about to head down to the shooting range. Wanna come with me? Yay! Welcome to the Discord. なんか久しぶりだよな。お前とここに来るのもさ。yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to be a little bit better about like um adding more stuff there. Like sometimes I'm like real good about it and then uh sometimes I'm just kind of like, "Oh no, that happened like <laughs> it's like that message came a week ago." It's like I I'm, I'm I want to be better about responding quicker <laughs> and being more being more active. So Yeah. I still stop by once in a while. Since we were both on break, I'd invited Psyche to the range. He took in the room as if it was nostalgic. Okay then. I thoroughly examined the rented pistol and stepped into a booth. Yeah. I think that's a good thing. It means that there isn't as much need to shoot anymore. Mmm. I feel that, Rathi. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'm similar. That it's just kind of like, you know, it's, uh, it's easier to, like, chime in than, like, come up with the prompt sometimes. Yeah. But... As long as this is my job, I never know when something similar might happen. I took a stance, pointed my weapon at the target, and slowly focused on the front sign. Keeping out a firm grip, or keeping a firm grip, I allowed the sight to settle over the target. Yeah, that's that's the way to go. <laughs> then I pulled the trigger. <laughs> Woo! If I want to protect people, I have to get stronger. Strong enough to protect anyone in my reach. Does it look that way to you? Yeah, I went through a lot during the X-Day cases. I guess I've gained a little experience from it. アドニスの幹部とやり合ったんだもんな。でもそれだけじゃないっていうか。うん。
Psyche wasn't shooting. He just watched me intently. After a moment in thought, he spoke his conclusion. What? Um, love? Well, I guess I'd be lying if I said no. くそ、そうだよな。話は聞いてたけど、彼氏できたんだもんな。まさか星野に先を越されるとは。サイキ、ごめんごめん。てか、その辺の話も聞きたいし。俺もちょっとお前に相談があるんだよ。だから、久々に
but it's better to call him in the evening. Yeah, it was a better idea to tell him directly. I decided on a course of action and resumed my afternoon work. I'm glad. I'm glad my main character is... I mean, she's she's sweet and considerate. That would be the right thing to do, you know? The clock struck nine, signaling that the day was coming to a close. After dinner, I was washing dishes while chatting with Kazuki. He was resting his chin in my hands while watching the music show in the living room. Are you getting used to college life yet? Ah, no, no. まだ4月頭なのに慣れるも何もあるはずねえだろ。ガイダンスは受けたけど、まだこれから履修科目決めるとこだよ。Wow, that takes me back. I bet you're going to have a lot of general ed courses to take. そっちはどうとでもなるけど、とりあえずサークルの勧誘がうざい。Yeah, uh, I could see that. I do, um, I do like Clamp a lot. Um, I like, I like the art style in this game. I think the character designs are really good. Um, so the the artist is um, uh, uh, Hanamura Mai. Um, so, although there's been there's been like some some like drama in the background about like um, uh like her art in particular like another artist like claimed that she was tracing and um and there was like kind of a big like a big thing about it and so the internet has taken sides i'm i'm not taking sides i'm just relaying like what i read um but uh but i mean i, I do i do like the art style so i i hope it's not i hope it's not true um it's difficult too because like some of the like mm, i feel like yeah, I mean, like, I've definitely, like, I definitely remember, like, reading a lot of comic books as a kid and, like, remembering that it's, like, this is, like, this is a very distinct pose and they just put different clothes on this person, right? Like, I definitely saw that, like, level of tracing. And so I, like, I think it's difficult because it's just, like, when you're kind of, like, working within certain, you know, um, certain kind of genres, it's, like, well, there are going to be scenes that are going to just look similar you know, like, because if you're talking about, like, a school anime, like, most of the poses are pretty similar, you know, uh, and, like, you, the clothes are going to be different, but, like, it's, like, there is, there are going to be people looking down, and they're going to look the same way, or looking out the window, and they're going to kind of look very, very similar, so it's very different, you know. Oh, I didn't realize that No Game, No Life, uh, like, that they were embroiled in something like that. I remember watching, like, a few episodes of that show, and I remember it being, like, really just kind of, like, a uh, pretty silly and fun. Um, I remember liking the music a lot, and and it just being a very colorful show. But I didn't realize that. Oh, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. Kasuki waved his hand in annoyance and stood up from his seat. Oh. いろいろと刺激になるけど。ただ。Wow, what an interesting conversation as we kind of talk about. <laughs> this one is just like they just talked about copying. Um, but <laughs> Ah, that is a bummer. That's a bummer. I'm like, mm -mm. all right. <laughs> I haven't. I didn't watch a Devil as a part timer, but I did. I think I saw a couple of episodes of Spice and Wolf. So, um, mm -hmm. again, just a a multitude of things that I've started but haven't finished. So I have to. Like, I still have to do, like, Bride of the Magus, and, like, um, what else? Mushishi? That's an old, old one. Um, and currently I'm working on Hell's Paradise, which, I don't know, it's really, really violent. That's usually, like, not, like, I'm not, I'm pretty squeamish about those kinds of things normally, 
And so, like, I really only want to watch this one because, like, uh, it, like, I saw a cool scene, and I'm just trying to get there. And it's like, is this cool scene enough to redeem this whole series? Because, like, that's pretty, pretty gory so far, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm not super far into Mega Sprite either, but but I liked it. Kazuki silently stalked off to his bedroom. I watched him go inside. Songwriting, huh? Kazuki was probably feeling at a loss and thinking of the songs that Akito had written. Akito Sera had been Kazuki's best friend. He had been a suspect in the X Day investigations. Put bluntly, he was believed to be one of the perpetrators. When Adonis had been dismantled, Akito disappeared, which didn't help the suspicions against him. His name hadn't been published because he was a minor, and Kazuki had apparently been told that Akito suddenly moved away. <laughs> no, a different Akito. This is a, a glasses Akito. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully this is not a world in such disrepair. <laughs> I, I I know it didn't end very well for a lot of people in that show, so. <laughs> and then there was that like there was that like rollerblading anime that there was like a an eye patch guy named Akito. So I didn't. I did not see the third movie. I didn't know that there was a third movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Air. Or, or some, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because they were all a bunch of, um, ro yeah. I think they were rollerbladers. But, um, mm hmm. The artwork was really nice, um, I will say. Like, I won't say that the, like, story was, like, super duper compelling, but I did like the artwork. And at the time, there was this line of dolls that were called Pinky Street. Like, they were little figures that all had kind of, like, interchangeable parts. And it was really cool because, like, people, like, came up with, like, people made customs. People, you know, um, like, create, like, had all these, like, cool, like, miniatures and like scenes for them and stuff like that so it was really really cute to see it was very air gear that's it that's it yeah oh okay yeah that's very, that's very different <laughs> mm -hmm. that's a shame too many cursed anime girl shows i i want i want everyone to have a happy ending <laughs> This is Akito. This is our flashback of him. だから、もしあいつが気にしてたら心配するなって言っておいてください。Siren. Hmm. I don't know that I've I don't know that I've seen anything about Siren. あとお姉さん。カズキのこと。ちゃんと見てあげてください。じゃなきゃ。絶対に後悔するから。ちょっとなんか、like <laughs> I was sure that Akito had tried to convey every emotion he possibly could in our last meeting. One day, Kazuki will know the truth. It was something that he would have to overcome, but the thought of that day coming pained me. I sighed in resignation. Okay. 145 chapters. Okay! Well, that's good to know. I phone buzzed with an incoming text message. 
No, look, Okazaki uses cute emojis. Oh, okay. I can appreciate that parallel. <laughs> the cute sticker in the message raised by gloomy spirits. Can I call you right now? Go ahead. Yeah, we just finished. I was actually about to call you. Okazaki's soft voice was comforting. Even if we couldn't see each other in person, we tried to call at least once every couple of days, so we could still hear each other's voices. Oh, right. I wanted to check something with you. I looked at the calendar on my wall and told Okazaki about Saiki's invitation earlier today. So on the 18th, I'm going to go drinking with a co-worker. Yeah, but we've been friends since the academy. I think I told you about him before. Ah, he's sulking. Are you mad at me? Oh no, hopefully he doesn't want ha have one of those, like, anime girl body pillows that he's punching right now. <laughs> oh, Rati, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I can appreciate, like, a... Mm, like, just kind of a... Like, time travel done right, I think, is very, fa like, it's very fascinating and, um... Uh, yeah, and and this kind of like active mystery of like trying to piece it together. That sounds that sounds like it would be good. まあ、分かった。そっちも付き合いあるだろうし。事前に話してくれてありがとう。内緒にされるよりはずっといいから。その日はちょうど夜に交代だから飲み会が終わったら迎えに行くよ。he was so nice to me. That had also been true while I was investigating the X Day murders. Okazaki was always considerate towards me. When I had been living in terror and under threat, he had tried to make me feel at ease. Later, I had learned more of his true nature, or rather, I had come to know him much better, and learned there was much more to his personality than just kindness. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, Rathi. I like that. Yeah, okay. I'll check that out. I'll put that on my list. Gosh, I love him. Truly, I felt that words would never be enough to express the depth of my gratitude towards him. I softly touched the receiver. <laughs> Are you, are you like wowing because we said we loved him? We love him. We love him. <laughs> we'll just assume that my, my main character is in a state that's allowed to have multiple husbands. I think poly, surely polyandry is, is uh, a... <laughs> Surely polyandry is legal somewhere? I don't know. <laughs> By the way, I had to say this at least. I opened my mouth to speak. <laughs> Given my line of work, I interact with men often. Of course, we'll go drinking from time to time. But you're the only one who's nervous about this. You don't have anything to worry about. That's all I wanted to say. I wouldn't joke about this. Huh? Oreだけ。君に触れるのもキスできるのも。二人きりで抱きしめ合ったりするのも。全部俺だけで。他の人には許さないってことだよね。Of <laughs> course. After a short silence, Okazaki continued, his voice husky. 
俺の方がドキドキしてるよみー I was easily able to imagine his giddy face and felt my cheeks flush for no good reason. Kimi got don la cow stay tirinoka, sugok king narna, me taina. Ne, onegai, kondo atara, chok sits moikai te. No. <laughs> Nande? Because it's embarrassing. Okazaki? Chotto jikan shteta. Ore no kanojo wa honto ni kawaii na te. Ne, ima sugu ai ni itta ra dame kana. No, Kazuki's here too. Based on past experience, if he came here in his current state, things would degenerate into an utter disaster. After that, we returned to more casual conversation and half an hour passed in a flash. Good night, Okazaki. I looked at my darkened phone screen as I sank into bed. Okazaki's farewell lingered in my ears and I felt complete contentment. I know. I, I like that too. Oyasumi. Oyasumi nasai. Even though this was hardly the first time. I'm Okazaki's girlfriend. We'd met in a unique way and had ended up in a relationship via a very emotional turn of events. We hadn't exactly gone through the normal progression that most couples did. So I couldn't help but feel a little restless to chat and say goodnight to him like this every night. Yeah, we like super trauma bonded, like took a bullet for him at the end of the other game. <laughs> <laughs> In all fairness, I think he took a bullet for me too. So we're even? <laughs> we reciprocate, you know? That's what love is. I didn't mean to sink my hooks into him or anything, but it does make me happy hearing him get jealous. Yeah. He even pouted when I told him I was drinking with Psyche and wanted to pick me up because he was worried. He did it all because he loved me. Yeah. I, there's this funny, there's a band I like, they're called the Black and White Years, and they have this really funny song that's like, um, where he's just like, you know, like, I would die for you, um, and like, uh, like, you know, it was, he says, like, I would die for you, it's like, I would kill for you, but then he makes all these, like, kind of like, a. uh, like, adds all these caveats to it, it's like, I would kill for you. But only if you need me to. Because <laughs> I will follow through, follow through. But I don't want to, so. <laughs> ah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, Rafi. <laughs> okay. The very thought of it tickled me pink. Earlier, when we had been saying that we, what we liked about each other, he had said that he couldn't explain exactly why he liked me. At the time, I hadn't quite believed him, but now I see what he meant. I was happy to hang out with Saiki, but I would get to see Okazaki afterward too. The thought made my heart flutter. What <laughs> What a bratty little brother, popping my bubble. Oh, Kazuki. Was I smiling that much? Kazuki had come out of his room to grab a sports drink from the fridge and was on his way back. You look like a dope. That's what he told me. In no uncertain terms. Before he closed the door, he turned back to me. <laughs> Yeah, Okazaki. You've met him before, remember? Hmm. Still? I hope you two can get along, but it seems like you don't like him. Yeah, 
Oh, sketchy. Oh, no. I can't deny that. Oops. I had just given Kazuki even more reason to distrust him. I had tried to smooth it over. It's hard to tell just by looking at him, but there's a lot to like about Okazaki. He's really nice, but sometimes overbearing. He's honest, and yet sometimes he won't say what he's thinking. Sometimes he's really unfair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, not, I'm not selling him. Yeah, he doesn't draw. He doesn't draw little pictures of princesses. <laughs> right, Okazaki's side. <sighs> うん。俺って心狭いなって思って。そうっすね。疑いをもなく。そこは否定してよ。いや、俺嘘つけないんで。で、何があったんです星野さんを怒らせたりしたとかしてないよ。ちゃんと我慢した。ねえ。吉成君。恋人が他の男と二人きりで飲みに行くってなったら。え、それは。え、ありなんですかまあ、状況によるか。俺だって変に疑ってないし、頭では理解してる。けど、なんていうか、怒ってるわけじゃなくて。寂しいとか悔しいとか変なモヤモヤ。まあ、それはモヤるでしょう。ただ彼女を縛りすぎて嫌われたら嫌だし、俺と出会う前から仲のいい男友達って言われると強くは止められないんだけどさ。俺はダ
That said, absolute honesty wasn't always a virtue. I reached for Yoshinari in order to teach him a more tangible lesson when... Ah, Sasazuka. Sassy Sasazuka. A familiar face showed himself. ま、峰岸さんと竹るく。何やら色々と聞こえてきましたが、岡崎君、また女性を泣かせたんですか。またって、俺、さすがに何人も女の子を泣かせた記憶ないですよ。おや、不思議ですね。私が知る限りで、3、4件はあったと思いますが。What Everybody's dogging on Okazaki. These two had suddenly showed up and just started saying whatever they wanted about me. I felt like it was okay to get angry about that. Coco Meister, thank you so much for the follow. Yay! Welcome, welcome. We are doing some Color X Palace. We're on the Okazaki route, chapter one. So. Hoshino san wa junsui na kata desu kara. Tabura katsu no wa hodo hodo ni shite agete kudasai ne. Welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. Yeah, we do this every Monday. We do date night Monday. We do some kind of dating simulator. We've been working on uh, Color X Malice. Unlimited for, uh, I guess, the past uh, past month and some change. So we finished uh, a different love interest playthrough, and, and we're just starting a new one. So we'll just do a chapter a week usually. So right now we're doing the we're looking at it from the boyfriendo's point of view. ご心配なく、たぶらかされてるの俺の方だから。えー、どの口が。<laughs> oh, I see, I see. I stomped on Yoshinari's silence button, which was located on the top of his foot. I ground the sole of my shoe on it for good effect. Me leading her on? I suppose that was true. I was aware of it, but she had her way with me as well. <laughs> I like, I like hot cocoa with lots of fixins. I like the, mmm, lots of marshmallows. And then you do your thing of like whipped cream. You can do sprinkles. I do a little bit of a sprinkle of like cinnamon on top of it. And then those like pirouette like straw cookies, like French vanilla ones, I'll stick those in. It's nice. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Um, I like the the little marshmallows, the or like yeah, the mini marshmallows. Cause I don't I don't have big mugs, so I can't have like big marshmallows taking up space for that. Also, big marshmallows are for s'mores, so I, I they've all got their place. <laughs> she was pure and beautiful, but she could also be surprisingly demanding sometimes. I wanted to be the only one who knew that side of her. Wait, how massive is massive, Coco Meister? Is it like bigger, like like you need a punch bowl for your hot cocoa? Put in a crock pot? <laughs> I have made hot cocoa in a crock pot before because I had to, I did it for a work event. And so it was like a make your own, like, or like, it had a hot cocoa bar, so you could like scoop out your hot cocoa. It had like 
condensed milk in it and like um, cream and like real melted chocolate and stuff like that. It was pretty dang good. I mentally uttered a selfish thought. Finally, the day had come for my date with Okazaki. I looked myself over in the mirror and added the finishing touches to my makeup. The funny thing about this series, so like, the previ this is a sequel to the game Color X Malice. And Color X Malice was really intense. Like, we were like part of this like big, like, we were investigating a series of murders. There was like, you know, intrigue. There was a lot of... Um, a lot of really intense like scenes and things happening and so since this is the sequel it kind of takes place after all of that mess has like finished and like <laughs> and now we just get to go on dates which is great <laughs> so that's what my main character is doing she's going on a date with her already boyfriendo <laughs> if only oh, so the spy family movie is coming out in December so I'm looking forward to that so <laughs> I, do, I do like the Spy Family show. Um, haven't seen any of it? Well, I recommend it. Oh, I just... I missed your message, Coco. A three-inch wide marshmallow on the Coco. That's too... That's so... They might as... You know what they should do, actually? Th thinking about a three-inch wide marshmallow, they might as well make it like a... You know how they have like soup bowls made out of bread? What if they had like cocoa cups made out of... No, that that's probably silly. That's probably silly. Actually, don't do that. You probably just have like a... <laughs> that's like a liability on your hands. Quite literally. <laughs> like, like yeah, as soon as like your, your hot cocoa is poured into your like marshmallow mug. One, it like probably the handles would rip off based on the weight of the hot cocoa. And then you just have hot cocoa on the floor, and that's not where it goes, so. I muttered to myself as I applied a deeper red shade lipstick that I didn't normally wear to work. I'd better get going. Wouldn't want to keep Okazaki waiting for me. Before I left, I did my usual first check of my outfit and makeup. It doesn't look weird, I think. Okay. I wouldn't give myself an A+, but I didn't think any my makeup would embarrass anyone. The moment I picked up my purse, the doorbell intercom rang. Today of all days? <laughs> That's when you bring out the marshmallow mop to soak up the hot, the floor cocoa. <laughs> I was just about to leave. Still, it was better than missing a delivery. Hello, who is it? Oh, oh my hiya. goodness, he looks... <laughs> he looks like a... Like a European musician from like the 90s. That's what he looks like. But he's cute. He looks very cute. We've never seen him in street clothes. We only see him in like, you know, work, work attire. <laughs> you know, like one for every day of the week. Maybe maybe one's like a sunshine umbrella, you know, where it's just kind of like I don't want the sun to hit me too hard, and then one for actual rain, and then uh, well, her brother lives with her too, so one for him. Uh, but yeah, too many umbrellas. <laughs> the man I was supposed to be meeting soon was standing in front of my door without preamble. <laughs> いつもと違う服だ。髪型もすごく可愛い。I'm oh, going on a date. No, I mean, weren't we supposed to meet at the train station? うん。でも、待ちきれなくて来ちゃった。No, oh, that's sweet. His habit of appearing out of nowhere like a ghost hadn't changed. ごめん、まだ準備中だった。それなら 
ここでお座りして待ってるけど。No, I was just heading out the door, so it's fine, but. じゃあまあ、話すなら中でやるよ。Oh, Kazuki, are you heading out too? カズキ君おはよう。今日は一日お姉さん借りてくね。別に好きに持ってけよ。いちいち俺に許可取る必要ねえし。What a surly little brother. で、今日は大学バンドの練習。俺もいつかライブ行ってみたいな。ああ、相変わらず人の話聞かねえな。Kazuki pushed past us and left with a sigh of exasperation. We would need to take a train to get to the planetarium, so we headed to the train station. We held hands, walking through the familiar streets of Shinjuku. Just that alone was enough to make me feel content. Planetarium is fun. But if you get out of the way, I'm going to die. We've been waiting a long time for this date, so please do try and stay awake. I think there's an aquarium nearby too. I'd like to see the planetarium in a movie first, so maybe we can go there next time. What kind of fish do you like? Hmm. Huh? Jellyfish aren't fish, but it did feel exactly like something he would say. When I was at work with Yoshinari, クラゲを愛しげに見つめすぎて水槽からひっぺがされたよ。I'd say that was a good call. えぇ、ー、君まで吉成くんの肩持つの<笑> ?I'm surprised to hear that you visited an aquarium for your work, though. 外国の要人とかその家族とか日本を観光したいっていう人は多いからね。詳しくは君にも言えないけど、今度の仕事もそんな。There was a scream and a commotion in the crowd around us. I turned towards the source of the yelling to see a woman sprawled on the ground. Hands outstretched towards a man who was speeding away on a motorcycle with her handbag. A purse snatcher? Uh, Okazaki? Okazaki glanced around and started sprinting. However, the thief had a head start. He was on a motorcycle to boot. Speed of the mind, t o m n a t o Even Okazaki couldn't catch up to someone on a motor vehicle, or so I thought. Okazaki picked up an empty can off the ground and hurled it forward. His aim was true, and the strike led the thief to reflexively let go of the handlebars. The purse dropped from his right hand. Inertia accelerated the bike even faster and. <sighs> the bike was freed from its owner's control, spinning on its side into a clearing. Ooh, that guy's probably dead. <laughs> like, that did not sound like. I mean, no motorcycle accident is really. You know. It's all gonna end pretty badly, it seems like. The purse snatcher was thrown from his bike, but he rose, groaning in pain. Wow. You know, maybe it's like a little moped. <laughs> Okazaki, he has a knife! <laughs> Bystanders drew back in fear once the man drew a knife from his pocket. <laughs> Well, I mean, he was committing a crime, so. s should be okay. I think. I went for my holster out of habit, but realized I was unarmed and in personal clothes. Oh, really? My first priority was to ensure that the citizens were safe. He's armed! Get back! Don't approach him! I had already reported the incident and stepped in front of the crowd to control them. At that moment. Okazaki darted out of the retreating crowd towards the thief. In 
In a flash, the criminal squared off with Okazaki and brandished his knife. Okazaki! Oh. Okazaki easily evaded the vertical slash and seized the man's arm. <laughs> I think, okay, yeah, I think you're right, Rothy. It's one of those things where, like, you're not allowed to pursue somebody. Mm. Let's see. I guess it depends on state by state. And really, like, you as a citizen aren't allowed to make, like, a citizen's arrest. Um, but at the same time, like, in certain states, like, you are allowed to protect your personal property. So that woman would have claim to being able to throw a can at the guy. <laughs> Maybe. Then the man slammed into the ground. Yeah, that's true. Okazaki twisted the man's arm, keeping him pinned to the ground and separated him from the knife. <laughs> mm, that's true. That's a really good point. Oh yeah, here we go. This guy's getting litigious here. I rushed over to Okazaki, who was crushing the struggling man into the ground with increasing force. I secured the knife. Okazaki, did he? Mite no tori. Kasuri kizu hitotsu nai yo. Ah, that's true. That's a really good point. But luckily, in the world of video game <laughs> boyfriendo games, we have power. <laughs> That'd be funny if that was like one of the side stories. Just a bunch of like court cases for all our people. That it's like, ooh, this thing that looks good in an anime, you're legally not allowed to do that. <laughs> Thank goodness. I sighed in relief. Had broken out into a cold sweat once the knife had come out. <laughs> the crowd had gathered around us as Okazaki restrained the suspect. Before long, a familiar sound approached. A face I had seen before pushed through the curious onlookers. Satake? Oh? Is uh, Enemoto's boss. Eye patch guy. Yes, Hoshino and. What are you doing here, Satake?俺は近くを巡回中だったんだよ。交番の連中も今来るはずだ。んで、引っ掛かり犯というのはそいつか。はい。今回はたまたま居合わせたので緊急事態ということで犯人を確保しました。現行犯か。偶然にせよ話は早
Yeah. It is what it is. So that eh. Ah, Data, Hajimata Bakaridatani. Okazaki sagged in disappointment, grumbling. I asked him a question. Um, Okazaki? Why did you run straight at him earlier? Doshtete? We were off duty and unarmed while the suspect had an edged weapon. Plus, the situation was chaotic. In those circumstances, shouldn't you have tried a less reckless tactic? Date, do mi temo shiroto datta kara ne. Koshi dame ni tsukonde kuru nara tomo kaku. Anna hawatari de furi maashita tokoro de sou sou hito o korose nai shi. I cast my eyes slightly downward as Okazaki's offhanded at Okazaki's offhanded remark. I knew that he was a skilled SP officer, especially since he had saved me multiple times. He was able to neutralize most armed opponents immediately, as he did earlier. I guess because it's been a while. I had watched him face danger without hesitation. I should have been used to this by now, but I could definitely feel my heart pounding. You're right, I suppose. What he said wasn't wrong. I wasn't nearly as competent as an SP officer, but I was always a police officer who had to risk her own safety for others. I should have agreed wholeheartedly with him. He wasn't the way he used to be. I know that, yet. Some part of me just couldn't accept what he was saying. I just got this boyfriend. I don't want him to die. <laughs> Is that so selfish? <laughs> All right. And with that, we have finished chapter one. Go ahead and save here. Bleep. All righty. Okay. So we'll probably call it here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you had fun. I'm glad that we got to chat. Um, my next stream is on Thursday. We're doing Don't Starve Together collab night with uh, Questin247 Guru Vision. Um, so we'll be doing that at 8.30 on Thursday. So I hope to see you then. And then we'll continue with uh, the next chapter of Caller X Malice Unlimited next Monday. Um, so with that, like I said, I hope you have a good rest of your week. I hope to see you soon. And I guess we're going to take our party of three and go raid. Uh, we got a lot of people that we can go visit. How's about? Yeah, thank you so much, Rodney. I'm so glad that you were able to come in. And Coco Meister, thank you so much for, uh, for following today. So, okay, we're going to go raid Smoctain, another VTuber um, who's playing Soulstone, Soulstone Survivors. I've, uh... I've only seen them play like shooting games, so I don't know anything about Soulstone. But let's let's see. Let's go have a look. So, yeah, s'mores sound good. I'll have that. So, all right, we're gonna go raid some Octane. Let's give a raid. So feel free to, you can feel free to copy paste that. You can add your own flair. Do whatever you want. But um, we'll go say hello to her. All right. Thanks so much. Bye bye.